I kneel to you every time the stream starts, my lord. My lord, dude, I'm not freaking Kanye West. Get off your knees, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's out of pocket. See them tripping. Okay, one shot. You ready? Level two helmet. DMR. Dead. Boom. Oh, send it, baby. Send it. Nice shot, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Nice shot. Dude, that was epic. Say hi, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Ooh, in the back of the dome. All right, we are on the test server. This is my first actual game on the test server to experience the new changes. However, I did record some footage for the video dropping tomorrow morning for you guys so that you know all the ins and outs of the gameplay changes to the AUG and the Dragon off, but I've never actually played nice with it. You. Uh, what's up, Juju? Um, so we're going to drop. I literally just got finished watching your videos. Hey, thanks, man. Did you like, comment, subscribe? Um, no comment. Bruh, that's it. I'm out. How you, you going to do me like that, bro? Look, I'll, I'm following you, so I mean, give me, cut me some slack here. Okay, no problem, man. How you doing today, buddy? <laughs> Doing just fine, yourself. <clears throat> Doing fantastic, man. Thanks for asking. All right, let's get it, baby. I kneel to you every time the stream starts. My lord, my lord, dude. I'm not freaking Kanye West. Get off your knees, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's out of pocket. See them tripping. Come on, man. Y'all crazy, dude. What y'all been doing all day? How's everyone's day been, dude? What's up? Talk to me. You having a good hump day or what? All right, so we're looking for the AUG and we're looking for the dragon off. How bad did they destroy the AUG? Um, look, I'll, I'll be honest. I, you know, I've only, I only recorded some footage. I didn't like break down all the numbers. That that analysis is going to come later. But I, I will say, just in my limited usage with it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a difference. I'll just say that. It, it's, and that, I think that's a good thing. It doesn't seem like they did something to where it's going to be like, oh my god, it's, it's, it's broken you can't use it oh i also found out um the fix for the zip line but you know how you're supposed to be able to shoot from a moving zip line with an smg or a um pistol and that hasn't been working i figured out why i, I didn't figure it out someone in the uh par partner discord figured it out and uh explained it to me there's a bug with the freaking action cue the action cue feature Dragon off. We found one. All right, cool. And so if you have action queuing turned on, which everyone should have it turned on, it's like a saving grace feature of PUBG. If you have it turned on for whatever reason, the game will not allow you to do the, the shooting your pistol or SMG while zip lining. So hopefully they get that fixed because everybody should have action queuing turned on. If you don't, you're at a severe disadvantage. Okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna kill this guy. F it. We'll get the AUG later. So <clears throat> for those that did not hear the news, and we haven't reviewed the patch notes yet, we're going to be doing that after this round. The Dragon Off no longer has the probabilistic RNG damage. They listened to our feedback and that has... What the... F so this should headshot one, one kill. Oh my God. Well, I'm getting shot in the ass by some other butthole. This guy? This, this Uzi guy just freaking... Okay, one shot. You ready? Level two helmet. DMR. Dead. So that is the big change um, for the Dragon Off. The probabilistic damage has been removed, but they buffed up the base damage. So I think 60 damage per bullet. And if you're within 100 meters, technically when I did my testing, which I'll show you show you some footage um here in a little bit when i did my testing it was actually like up to 105 meters if you were within 105 meters you could one shot a level two helmet full health which is is what a bolt action rifle does so it is a really i mean look at that a really sick oh god i actually headshot him right there too he must not have been full health I feel like that shouldn't have killed him, huh? What was the distance on that? That was... I tell you what, that's close to 100 meters. I think that was right outside 100. 
but he did have a level one helmet. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. If you can one shot a level two helmet at a hundred, you could probably one shot a level one helmet at like 130. <clears throat> Dude, this gun, this gun, even though the AUG didn't get nerfed too bad, which I think is a good thing. They, they basically try to put it right between the barrel and the M4. I think this gun being what it is, is going to um, push people to want to pick up a 7.62 AR to go along with their 7.62 DMR. So uh, yeah, so confirmed tactical gear is gone. Dragon off added back with, honestly, it's in a great spot as a hybrid DMR. I'm a little nervous just after my initial impressions and usage of of the Dragonoff kind of making DM uh, making bolts obsolete. That's yet to be you know yet to be said. I guess we'll we'll have to see. But my initial reaction is I'm a little cautious about that. Uh, the AUG I haven't used in game, but I did use some testing with it on the like my, my custom games to get some footage for you guys um, for an upcoming analysis video. The AUG still seems to be very, very good and strong and not too terrible to control. So I think it's going to be in a good place. I don't think you have anything to worry about. If you liked the AUG before, I think it, you'll still be okay. If you liked using, you know, the barrel before, I think you're still going to be okay. So I don't, I don't think that's being changed too much. Today was my work from home day. And unfortunately, boy, what did I have to work from home? A lot of the times my work from home days are very chill. Today, 7 a.m., it was freaking hustle and bussing. So we were busy all day with work. And then of course, I've been busy. If you guys have been keeping up with the YouTube channel, pumping out a tons and tons and tons of PUBG content for you guys um, with new updates, skin leaks, reviews, um, esports video coming out tomorrow, rings of battle teaser, uh, play test announcement coming out tomorrow. We're going to record the patch notes review today. You boys been hustling every day. I'm hustling, hustling. Yo, what's up, Rambo? Dude, where the hell are the augs? Did they nerf the augs spawn? Oh, untouchable. <clears throat> All you got to do is complain a little bit in life and you usually get what you want, chat. You can't always get what you want. But if you complain sometimes, you just might find. You just might find. You get what you asked for. Oh, yeah. So, uh, aug nerf the rate of fire has been slightly reduced to with no change of the damage per bullet. The reason why they did that is they wanted the damage per second of the gun, which is a combination of its bullet damage and its rounds per minute. They wanted that to be right in between the M4 and the barrel, which now it's that's where it sits. And uh, they did increase the horizontal and vertical recoil. So a vertical grip probably isn't going to be the grip you want to use for this gun. Personally, I think maybe the uh, half grip, the red, red looking grip is. But here, I'm not going to pull down. So that's that's no vertical pull down. And you can see it's pretty squarely. On the uh, on the horizontal and while that you know may not look like much right there when you're you know 60 70 100 oh my <sighs> dominated like i said the augs perfectly fine doesn't need to be you're gonna you're like the augs still it's in a great place and uh, everything's gonna be good so like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching guys all right um yeah like i said the augs still in a good place <laughs> the damage per second is still good uh, the recoil isn't bad. It is, it is higher now, uh, but it's not bad. I think you'll probably want to use the half grip just because the half grip does reduce horizontal and vertical recoil as compared to the, uh, vertical grip only giving you vertical reduction. Oh, look at this. Watch this headshot. One shot, baby. Level two helmet. Don't save you. Look at that. He was within a hundred meters, just about a hundred meters. Boom. Oh, send it, baby. Send it. Nice shot, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Nice shot. Dude, that was epic. Say hi, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Ooh, in the back of the dome. Yeah, so, um, parachute. Oh, my God. Aug is still, I think it's in a good place. Um, the, you know, long distance. 
the long distance sprays you are gonna notice the little variation not so much in the vertical i wouldn't say but definitely the horizontal again that's why maybe you use the half grip you compensate for that um but i think ultimately with the dragon off being in the game and it being as strong as it is i think that is going to have a natural effect to push people to want to use a 762. that's what i think do you think the uo5 will drop when the new Aaron got changes no ue5 i don't i don't foresee us seeing it until next year maybe at the earliest to be honest i think what they're doing right now is still in the testing phase of ue5 which is good that they're even entertaining it but i i don't get the vibe that they're like oh we're close to announcing something i think they're still like hey we're really not sure about this you know we're, we're gonna keep it keep it tucked away for now with internal testing um you know just kind of seeing how it goes i don't think they're ready to show off anything yet that's just the vibe i get personally yo griff i actually like that there's not going to be armor repair kit i think that was one of the cheesier items uh or for tactical gear it really took away the like the late game worry of who should i loot should i go loot this body should i go find the compound before i do this last circle push you know so i do like that change but i'm, I'm just gonna miss the funness of the tactical gear the drone shenanigans the rpgs and the backpack shenanigans i'm not sure anyone likes a barrel um well that's just not true the barrel is a second second most used ar right behind the aug and before the aug um came into the world spawn the barrel was the highest used ar by far so people still love the barrel make no mistake about that don't Okay, can you hit your shot see them thank you one shot in the head so late game early game and late game specifically is where this dragon off is going to shine you're almost always going to be within 100 meters of your next kill late game and everyone's almost always going to have level two gear you know sometimes they'll have level three of course but you're you're essentially carrying a bolt if you can hit your shots like i cannot apparently nice shot oh you bots move so weird Just look at that headshot dead <clears throat> headshot dead so a gun's going to be very roger uh gonna be very very strong let me get this boy with this aug wherever, wherever he is Guns to be very strong early game and late game because you're going to be within that that insta kill zone um you have the damage of a you know bolt with the fire rate of a lynx amr so it's you can't like spam it right it's that's about as fast as you can shoot the gun you can't just like spam the gun so it has that that nerf to its rate of fire which really helps balance it and the recoil is pretty significant like i have a cheek pad and a compensator and it's still a kicky mule 100 but i think once people there we go 121 meter spray with the all granted i was prone which reduces the recoil you can see um Hey, GG's buddy. It was nice gaming with you. Thanks again for the support. Jeez. Hope you have a good one, man. Of course. Take care. You too, buddy. Yes. Let's crouch. So just quick uh, recap of my first time usage in an, in an actual game. Granted, it's test server. That I think there was like one real player that we killed, but you still get at least to experience the recoil and the power and the damage of the items i think if you love so there, there's two guns you carry right there's a primary and a secondary so let's say if you carry your uh, aug and your mark 12 or your m4 and your mark 12 if you love the mark 12 you're still going to pick up the mark 12. if you're going to pick up the mark 12 that means you're probably still going to find an appropriate 556 ar to to go with that because you want to have the same ammo type to reduce um backpack capacity space for having multiple ammos which gives you um, better utility usage. So if you love the Mark 12, you're still gonna pick that up because the gun's great still. And you still have two really good choices, the AUG and the M4. The AUG being a little better than the M4, 
but now it's not like it's it's not like it's a you have to use the aug it's like oh whichever one you kind of feel like using you can use and you're okay with it on the flip side if you um if you love the barrel or the ace some people really love the ace you're still going to use one of those two weapons then you're probably going to default to the 762 dmr the slr or the dragon off if you're indifferent and you just kind of want to use what's better then i think that's where you're going to see a push to where people go of those weapons what's the one that i really need to be picking up i think the dragon off is going to be that weapon like of those four different weapons the slr the dragon off the mark 12 um you know the aug the barrel if all those weapons are sitting on the ground the first one you would want to prioritize i think is going to be the dragon off you're going to have a high dps because it's a dmr you're going to have one shot capability because it's a hybrid between a bolt for close range uh for early game and mid game and then i think once you pick that gun up that's going to kind of dictate your secondary weapon or your primary whichever you look at it for your assault rifle and you're going to go okay well, i'm going to go with the 762 then and then it's the choice of do i want a gun that's a little bit easier to control but less um damage per second i'll get the ace if i'm comfortable with the higher recoil and i want the better the better gun it's the barrel ultimately i think that's how we're going to see it play out over the coming months but you know people are going to have to play with it and get a get a feel for it it's hard just to kind of tell that through a video you have to really use the guns yourself to really get a feel for it you know Yo, Juju. Yo, thanks for the prime, baby. Welcome to the dome, man. Yo, GG's in the dub. Thanks for playing with us, buddy. Chat, Juju's the guy we just played with. Everyone say hi, Juju. Thanks for being a great sport. And of course, thanks for dropping the prime in the dome, man. Gingy, how you doing today, buddy? Great to see you, man. 